impression that everybody was on the same page as to what should and should not be disclosed. So then for you to turn around, and if you're the lawyer that the Sun Sentinel was saying that they met with before they published it, that told them go ahead and publish it, I find that to be an ethical violation on your part under the Florida Bar. Maybe the Sun Sentinel does not have any ethical rules that they have to follow, but you as a lawyer do have those rules. And if you gave them that advice, then shame on you. Because I, I assure you that the constitutional rights of Mr. Cruz and the state and the listed victims in this case outweigh the Sun Sentinel's belief that the public has a right to know about these types of things. Because members of the public include Mr. Cruz, the defense, the state, and all of those witnesses who have now could potentially be jeopardized because of your actions. And I will note that, as far as I know, you are the only paper who did that. We're the only paper that matters today. And I, I, I just have to disagree with you on, on thinking that I have committed any ethical violation. Absolutely no law was broken, nor did I ever, ever suggest that if, if, if any client of mine came into possession lawfully of information, that it would not publish it. I'm not permitted to do so. I'm not permitted to make I, I have that transcript. I've read it. And, and your, your actions and the actions of the Sun Sentinel are, not, are misleading. You're misleading and misguided. And from now on, if I have to specifically write word for word exactly what you are and are not permitted to print, and I have to take the papers myself and redact them with a Sharpie and send them off to whoever I need to send to to make sure that you all can't somehow uh, read what's not supposed to be reported, then I'll do that. But uh, I thought we were all professionals here, and uh, I see now that you all are going to to do what you want to do, unless uh, my orders are very specific, more specific, even though I am fully uh, convinced that you all knew exactly what you were doing, and I find it shameful. Your, your actions are shameful. And if you have, in fact, created some type of, of uh, jeopardy to the fair trial of Mr. Cruz, then that's something that the Sun Sentinel is going to have to live with. Uh, whether or not that matters to you, I don't know. Uh, as far as the motion to invoke contempt proceedings, I'm going to take the matter under advisement. Hey, y'all. Uh, it's August the 16th. 2018 and y'all we just got down watching a video that was a small clip and you can go see the rest of the clip if you want to all over the place it's been copied and pasted over countless articles probably a heated exchange kind of one sided heated exchange between a miss, a judge, Elizabeth Sher, or it might be Mrs. I'm not sure. It don't even matter. Elizabeth Sherer. And the lawyer, the one of the lawyers from over there at the Sun Sentinel. As you might be able to infer from the video, there is a beef that is being very much created between Judge Shearer and basically anybody coming from the Sun Sentinel. That's one of many beefs. All right, I want to discuss that real quick, just real briefly. All right, and we'll dive into more detail as things go on. But there's many beefs, obviously, over this almost half a year. It's almost half a year ago. So many beefs have been de developed all over the place. We can't even tell all of them. I mean, there's been a lot. All right? Never mind the uh, pro-gun, anti-gun, this and that. People created beefs. You got people who um, are really calling out the school board for slacking to include employees of the school district. Very publicly. Very uh, high-ranking people, that, for that matter. You got people um, from the school board, as you very well see, calling out people from the Sun Sentinel, which is a media, and is putting everything on blast. We're going to talk about that. That's most important. That's what this whole video is about. 
That's what this whole conversation was about. You got supposedly all over the place. You got uh, defense lawyers, and they don't want a death penalty trial. They don't want a death penalty trial. They certainly don't. They want Nicholas Cruz in jail forever and ever and ever and ever, and that's what they want. They want a short trial and this and that. Prosecution allegedly wants a death penalty trial, which would include all sort of witness testimonials, this and that, character witnesses and all this. It would go on for a long time. All right. All sort of beefs. I mean, victims of the actual shooting suing not only the school board, the sheriff's office, this and that. Pretty much everybody who knew who knew Nicholas Cruz. Suing, suing the state of Nicholas Cruz. It's all sort of lawsuits flying around. All sort of beasts being created. All sort of chaos is ensuing. <clears throat> and the reason for this, ultimately, is that the situation doesn't add up. Had the situation added up at all, things probably could have gotten squared away with a lot less chaos. Like it's the damn Hunger Games out there. It's like everybody for themselves, battle royale, nobody. See, the thing is, when everybody's working against each other as they are now, then how are y'all going to work together in order to keep the kids safe? That's my question, of course. We already know the answer to that question. I mean... <laughs> I saw an article just yesterday about how some people are complaining it's not a left police uh, presence over there at the summer school over at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. People are complaining. People, there's such a lack of communication. It's half a year later. People are still wondering, oh, well, maybe the uh, superintendent, Mr. Runcy, maybe he, or uh, I don't know, I forget if he's on the school board or what the hell he does, man. Maybe he'll step down. Maybe. Scotty Israel, maybe he'll be asked to step down and stuff like this. You know, and it's just pretty much people just kicking can down the road. That's what it is. All right. Uh, <clears throat> Meanwhile, nobody's ever really discussing any sort of evidence at all. And it's interesting. I want to end on this note, you know, uh, the video that we just seen, that was Shira. She was going to town. She was telling Sun Sentinel, y'all don't even know what your shame is. Y'all don't even know what it is. All right, I'm sucking by, sucking by y'all's face. Basically, I mean, she almost raised her voice up in the courtroom. All right. She's making a good point. The thing is, I don't know if Judge Cher would completely align with all the people probably following this channel and following this situation. I don't know that she would. But she makes a good point in that, you know... The Sun Sentinel, and that's what I've been kind of hinting at. The Sun Sentinel, what they're doing, among other people, is they're uh, highly publicizing this situation. I'm talking about articles every single day. I'm talking about inflammatory all over the place. And what they do is they hide behind what's called the First Amendment. And they say, well, you know, it's freedom of the press. Don't, don't the press have freedom? We're supposed to be able to spread, you know, this and that when we hear stuff, all right? And, of course, that is part of the uh, freedom of the press. <clears throat> but they hide behind this. They say, oh, man, we need to know, so we're going to get this, that leaked. We're going to do this and that. We're going to dance around things, and we're going to bend the rules and this and that, and we want people to see our publication. We want to... We want them to see, and we, to get an insight. We got the exclusive. So Sun will be like, we got the exclusive. Rafael Omedia, he'll be like, we got the exclusive on the insight on a criminal monster. Nicholas Cruz, right? And so they're getting very inflammatory. And that's what they're doing to whatever, to sell papers, to get money. I don't know. I don't care, but that's what they're doing. They're getting all inflammatory. And we're, we're pointing that out simply because this is kind of used in order to, in a sense, publicly crucify that Nick Cruz or publicly incriminate him all over the place. It's not like they're leaking anything that would perhaps give you a balanced look at Nicholas Cruz. 
They're giving you all sort of one-sided stuff, say, oh, this is how the ticking time bomb went off and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And he's a trouble, trouble kid because he liked guns and the guns were the problem and this and that. So they keep going to town on it. Meanwhile, every last bit of this, every last bit is completely against Nicholas Cruz and his constitutional rights, his civil rights, if you, if you will. Everything that has happened thus far is against Nicholas Cruz's civil rights. And actually, Judge Scheer points that out. She's like, you know, y'all are trying to hide behind the First Amendment. Meanwhile, it doesn't matter. You're trampling Nicholas Cruz's civil rights, and you're actually trampling on all of the victims' uh, civil rights, on the witnesses as well. You're just, you're just leaking stuff. And, you know, it's, technically, I, I would have to emphatically agree with this lady. It's like the, the, the paper, what it's doing is wildly incriminating Nick Cruz. That's against him because none of the evidence has come out anyways. And there's a reason for having a trial. Mind you, constitutionally speaking, the trial should be speedy. I don't know what they meant by speedy, but it's taking a long, long time. It's taking a long, long time for this to even go to trial. Meanwhile, I'd be perfectly happy, and I think a lot of people who have seen this video would have been perfectly happy for all this evidence and all these details to stay concealed i honestly am t i'm here to tell you i would have happy i would have been happy they all stay concealed and we knew none of it none of the details all right because the whole point is that it's supposed to go to trial and the jurors are supposed to see all the evidence and they're supposed to decide all right what should have happened is there should have never been a shooting. But after the shooting, what should have happened is people should have had decorum to include the Sun Sentinel. And they should have reported it as minimally as possible and put it to put it to rest because they're not in charge of deciding whether or not Nicholas Cruz is guilty or not. All right. But meanwhile, they seem to really, really be biased on that whole topic. All right. Or maybe they really, really want to sell papers. But everything, you know, to include the media and everybody else, everybody's infringed on Nicholas Cruz's rights. All right. And, you know, I didn't even bring up the fact is the other day when the confession came out, when they leaked this video, it clearly does show. And people, people have told me and I would totally agree. It clearly does show a coercion of the whole entire confession anyways. All right, because you're going to read him the Miranda rights that he has and let him know that he actually does deserve to have a lawyer present. Meanwhile, you skip the whole deal and you start asking him questions as though he has any clue what's going on, as, he, as though he has any clue as to what his legal rights are or even understands what you're talking about. This dude is so freaked out. He's being incriminated for a mass murder, going to jail for life, or just being put to death and stuff. This is the situation he's just found himself in. He's a young man. You see that he's scared out of his mind. You tell him his Miranda rights to include the fact is that he could have a lawyer present. He doesn't have to say a word. And then you just gloss over it and start asking him questions. And don't, And there's not a soul in the world who can come to his defense. That's what happened with Nicholas Cruz. All right? What's going to happen down the line, we're just going to have to find out. But that's what's already happened to him and his rights. And let me tell you something, man. We have just about as much rights as a Nicholas Cruz. I'm here to tell you. All right, so... I don't know. That might scare you and stuff, man. I didn't mean to scare you, but it's crazy. All right, so I'll holler at you a little bit later. It's August the 16th, 2018. But uh, I thought we were all professionals here, and uh, I see now that you all are going to, to do what you want to do, unless uh, my orders are very specific, more specific, even though I am fully uh, convinced that you all knew exactly what you were doing, and I find it shameful. Jeopardy to the fair trial of Mr. Cruz, then that's something that the Sunset Knoll is.